We're at Familiar Skate Shop in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm Dennis. I've been working here since 2010. What separates us is we have our own skate park, three and a half miles north on the same street, which gives us more options for events, which we constantly do. We try to set them up, if not once a month, at least every other month, and they go all year long. So at some point throughout the year, we have something fun slash eventful for you to do, no pun intended. For sure, one of my favorite moments, shotgunning beers with Carol on the back steps. Muska, frontside flip, and a lip slide at the skate park. That's another top notch one. Winter is, uh, it's a lot of our year here in Minnesota. I feel like it helps our skate scene just because everybody that you don't see during the summertime, whether they're traveling or they're skating outside or whatever, they all kind of huddle up inside like one of our indoor skate parks here. I think the reason why we have great skaters come out of Minnesota kind of ties back to that whole weather thing. It's really raw around here. Um, all of our spots are pretty rugged, so when you grow up skating that kind of stuff, I guess it just makes you a better skater in general. Our downtown is like really fucking tight. We got the government center, which are the rainbow banks. Government center is the most legendary spot for Minneapolis. Whether you're from the little out of town Grom kid to the next pro, you know that spot and you know it's here. You always want to go there and at least get a wall ride or see them. Davis's back nose blunt was really dope. Pat did front blunt shove, which was really fucking tight. That's kind of like the dream spot for Minneapolis. Woo! Mellow bus factor too.